Hello everyone, and welcome back to Guild Wars 1. Huh, the bot's gone. Imagine that. Mars. Mirror is still there, though. And, huh. Why are some of the other people still here? Don't know. It's more active than last time. Does it? Does it? At least the bot's gone. It's the progress. <laughs> I doubt our reporting did anything, but... Oh well. So we have a few crests left. Most of which is probably in Legion Valley. So I'm gonna have to read your Valley in a while. The first thing... We're gonna go inspect something. Cause here's the thing. Also Captain Orsic. He's got new equipment. Like new armor and fire dragon shield sword. Oh no, and the world no longer has to favor the gods. Because we arrived. Apparently. Oh so after stage. Oh, is that just a sign set to tell me anything? Nope, it's just a sign. Yeah, it's the after stage. But is there actually any after sale? I don't believe so. Oh, she apparently has news for someone in Nascalon City. Oh, good for her. So here's something I forgot. I forgot they changed the system so you no longer require people to be able to gain access to the Northland. I forgot about that. Completely. At least I think they did. I need to go inspect. We're not actually going ahead to the Northland yet. Sort of want to change my, get my secretary position. But anyway, yeah. So you pull the lever. And it remains open. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Like, completely. It's based my mind. I think it closed now, but yeah. There used to be a, uh, I don't know if there was a bot or what, but there was a gate monkey that you could hire to go into there and they would leave after you were in there. So you could use that to basically get inside. And you could hire people for it, etc. It's like, what, 25, 50 coins? Simple times. If the Northlands is the hardest part about uh, pre Asquan. That is full of char. Well, there's a lot of char bosses in there with chance to drop char bags. But yeah, it's where basically you'd go at like when you're trying to. Re after level 10. You go in there and you'd farm the area and farm the area and farm the area. But also death levering and all that fun stuff. We're working on your legendary defender of Ascalon title. But I want to reach hopefully level 7 before we go in there. I doubt I'll reach level 7 before we go in there. Ball hammer. Not what I was after, I was after a seed, but okay. Oh, so how did a seed have that? As we don't crash in it. So we got our spider legs, we need one more seed. Oh, we should be able to get that, hopefully. By the way, region valley. Alright, we'll 
feel like murdering the Carrion Tower for hours. Because I could. The only problem, though, is it's not really worth it. Okay, well, you got in my way for now. I'm still getting some mystery. I thought that we'd be cut off since we're five flowers above such. But I'm gonna mess. Oh, Bowman, what do you got? Nothing I really want. Hmm, you could devour eggs. But I'm gonna master ranger Nente. What is the worst reach of power? Why find my land kept by the rangers? I want to guide you today. The Rangers companion. One of the great joys in a Ranger's life is earning the trust of an animal companion. If you're interested, I would give you a skill that will allow you to charm an animal. However, it would not be fang in you. So, of course, you're trying to charm just any creature. On the path of your final shrine, you'll probably may find one of the rare cats owners. My land is darker. Yes, teach me the Ranger skills. Yeah, make sure you take charm animal for now. Cause, guess one of the good changes they made a long while back was the fact that you no longer need a charm animal to have a charmed animal. You need at least comfort animal. And you probably should take comfort animal just so you can revive your animal. But, yeah. Because before you used to have, have to have both charm animal and the comfort animal to revive the animal. Just simplifies it down to just having to have one skill to make it work. Draw a man where you just have to have so you can initially get the animal. It also means we're going to my land stalker for a while because there's another quest in post Ascalon that requires a my land to stalker. Now then. Oh, there is one. Mm, that was one. Lovely. So game. I told you to pick up that red eyelid. So we go over here and we draw a man. Draw a takes a while to cast because you're charming an animal. It's not just going instantaneous. So one of the advanced things the game doesn't really teach you, or maybe it does, is you could use slash name pet to name your pet. Wow, well, shit. Okay, fine, it won't be Lord Vigil, so if it should be... Vigil's for. For now. We will be getting another animal later on. Later on. Because you see... I don't know exactly what. I don't really want the want the match. It's not bad, it's just... Well, since there's no real advantages to pet from this compared to the other two or different animals, family types, the different, had different benefits and all that. Not that really exists in this. In this, they're just animals. That you could just tame, take with you. And use your pet skills if you want to use pet skills. Because Beast Mastery is a thing. You, there used to be decent bears called Bunny Thumper bears, which used hammers along with beast skills. But yeah. Done very well. It's not easy to draw one of the, uh, these great cats. You're not just smiling on you. Showing the potential to be a good ranger, take a ranger as a second position. You can get us to all and skills and allow you to train a marksman, beast master, and weather and survival. But you must still bear with the armor of your primary profession. Well, I believe I want to become a ranger. So now we are a necromancer ranger. Congratulations to your two professions. I am going to guide you in using all your abilities to force. Yay. 
I really wish you would give me the upper scale so I could wait. They changed my scale to comfort animal. That's wow. That's great actually, because that means I don't need to count charm animal equipped. I just realized that. Bye. Uh, I also have a lot of more range for trenches. I have a true shark to be found near the eastern edge of these very woods. We'll look into that. Oh, so. I'm going to have to split this video into chunks because. It's windy outside, which means the power may go off, and if I split it into chunks, it's less likely for traps to screw things up, so yeah. Boop, boop. Oh, it's not too abrupt, it's just, yeah, it's just... Because we've, we've had the issue with power going off while recording, and it's like... You lose... Perhaps can't actually recover the file because... The whole computer was shut off, thus causing traps to not be... Causing the failure to not properly be ended, and thus it just becomes unusable. And in a game like this, well, the world is, well, everything's just obviously safe because it's all online. Yeah, it sort of makes sense for us to do this in chunks, so if we lose progress, we don't lose too much progress. Well, failure progress, I should say. We're not going to lose our progress that easily. Yeah. And that's nice. It's also nice because we're, since it's all online, we can't actually lose our progress. Like some games we've been playing recently where it's like, oh, well the game crashed and you forgot to save, so... Well, there goes your progress. Gotta go record another hour that you already recorded. There's what you got. Spider legs. Do you them? For pants? Uh, yes please. Yay. I mean, we're coming along, we're coming along. We just sort of need the chest piece now, which I know where to get. I just need... Oh, that was creepy for a second though. We just need... And now we're seed. Of course, I could always go back to Tetsuo. Or Grand Speed. We always go like that. Which is sort of fitting for a necromancer. We might go like this for a while. A while. Let's explain about costumes, though, is if I get bored with my lords, I still have more. Of course, I'm always going with the pumpkin practically. Because I. Pumpkins have been my staple in Guild Wars since Halloween 2005, when we first got the original pumpkin. Not this pumpkin. This was 2006 pumpkin. You know, I like this one better than 2005's one, but still, this pumpkin has been with me for, well, since 2006, because they didn't add the whole... Uh, costume hats and merch and things. Till like I think it was after, till the Halloween 2006. So basically, you gained a. Uh, oh, so this is back before festival hats and outfits were a thing. So back then, you basically gained. Like the pumpkin as headgill. Which basically meant you put on a. Which basically means you sacrificed armor to basically wear a helmet that did nothing but looked good. Which, by the way, probably wasn't the best idea when my first character. My first, well, my first actual character in this was an elementalist warrior with a sword. Because I like being able to nuke things and set stabity things too. 
Because that was back when, you know, there weren't actual, there weren't meta builds and people were new at the game and, yeah. Like, I got all the way through prophecies before I realized, oh, this build is not that great. But yeah, I got 100 blades. This is such a fun scale, but yet I'm still so squishy. Oh, wait, I'm wearing a pumpkin that has no armor. Besides the fact that I'm squishy because I have elementalist armor. Uh, it's like, why am I dying so much? Because I didn't understand the value of stats and, you know, actually being effective. Then later I changed it to an elementalist ranger. Because barrage and ranger skills, along with ne elementalist nuking skills, it wasn't terrible. Of course, nowadays I go with something of a triple nuker because, I mean, things run from firestorm and stuff. But if you get a good meteor shower off, then they usually get knocked down, and then you apply a fun heat and a firestorm. And if there was enough AI body blocking it, they usually tend to die. It seems to be a bit overkill at times, but it works. But anyway, hello there, I'm Kyle I for Trushon, and I'm the marksmanship AN for in these parts. I train new rangers to read the wind, among other things. Well, here's the thing. This one's not exactly easy for us. I mean, that's just to be ranger, but now you can be more important than the skill of a bow. We, we don't use bows. I can help you become a great ranger, or uh, archer, but first you must show me that you have the potential. If you follow the ridge upwards, you'll find a colony of plaguegrooms and just rise up from the ground and attack the unsuspecting trove. If you can kill the plaguegrooms in a lot of time, I'll believe you'll make it to a real ranger. No, we can't. We can't at all do this. Basically what you really want to do is you want to get some points off on them, make them hostile. Good, they're all attacking. Good. Yeah, but the thing is, we're not going to be great for this challenge because we don't really have the damage out. I was hoping that one would die. Stop that. Yeah. damaging skills yet. I can see that you have a great archer. No, I won't. <laughs> Give these skills as aren't they serve your marksmanship, yay. It's like I'm not gonna be an archer anytime soon. <laughs> Cause what I am is I am well, I have I have damage potential, it's just going to be a while before we're fully set up. We're one of those classes that sort of builds into being level 20. We don't just get started and it takes a while for us to build into it. Yeah, it's gonna be weird because once we reach Lions of Arch, we're probably going to drift a bit into other things. But we're going to drift into Alpha Moon, of course. We're going to drift into Factions. We're going to drift into Nightfall. Mostly just to get scales and stuff. And for Nightfall to get hair tunnels. To be honest, the labor of the variable is definitely going to be 
Well, technically, that's going. The first one's going to be where we're going to go. Drifter fashion, it's the Drifter tonight, so the Drifter effect. Got the eye the marsh. Because prophecy is just. just a bit slow. And usually I end up going to Eyes of the North before I finish any of the campaign. Just because Eyes of the North has access to the good shit. The PvE skills and all that. But the only problem though is going to Eyes of the North before prophecies sort of screws things up from a law perspective. Well, how long it takes for any of the expansion sort of screws things up. But since I the is the most connected with prophecies, sort of messes things up a bit. But at the same time, has just to those skills. Sort of necessary from what I plan on doing. Or I could always just go to Eye of the North and not actually finish it until after prophecies. And that is an option. That that's also an option. I might just do that. We might just dabble into Eye of the North, get started on it, so I can get access to some skills. But not, not the important skills like pain or that. So let me go in there and get at least headshots there. I could go to Nightfall and get Necosis, so yeah. Not the worst idea. Boop. 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 Did I identify that? Yes. Boop. Boop. How jeez, we've made a lot of gold in pro- in pre and we're already almost up to a thousand. Oh, we almost have to have platinum. That, there's numerous changes between Guild Wars 1 and Guild Wars 2 that are. Like, Guild Wars 2 doesn't have platinum. Platinum used to be a thing. Like, Guild Wars 2 uses the whole copper, silver, gold system. Instead of the gold platinum system. Eventually you can even get enough gold that you actually hit the, well, that you hit the maximum gold cap, like, you only have up to like a near million gold. And that's why there are Ettos, because Ettos, while they're not actually a form of currency, they are what the players decided as a form of currency. Oh, and some armbands are true, but... Our bands are true for more expense. Also for like Yay. We are also going to investigate a few things outside of here. So at the moment we're technically working on. Technically working on the true king right now. Heck. But yeah, I'll just scale away. Doesn't matter if sign post is what round. There's an annoying part though. So you're heading to Fort Rannick, right? 
Just do to do to do. Heading to Fort Randick. But then you run into Mary Malone Hill. He's just like, oh, I'm so glad you happened along. Could you help me, please? I started picking apple stones. They were my best friend, the spiders back there. Everyone spent the apple that attracted them. Just when do spiders care about apples? Now I dropped my basket and ran. What could I do? We won't get any wages for today. We don't get that basket back. Can you go to the orchard and get my basket back for me? The spiders won't give you any trouble, I want. Then I'll go to the orchard. Because, yes, you have to be right outside just to send you the opposite direction. Of course, if you're smart, you would have went past her and went to Port Rannick and came back out afterwards to help her. Just so you have the place added to your map so you could fast travel to it. But oh well. It's a giant needle spot. We already got the spider place for our pants, so. We don't really need their spider pants, but we can always take more to sell. Also, pets have their own level system. Which basically means, oh, so that's not bad. But yeah, pets have their own level system. So, they may level up slower than you do. It's actually in some cases where they're dead. Or when you're turning in quests. Like, for example, in either north, you could basically reach level 20 and your pet would still be like level 10 or 12. Because they weren't there when you were leveling up in town. Turning in crafts that gave you like 20,000 SP each. And that's another reason why I have to level you up faster. But we don't really need to level up faster. Also, since we did prophecies, we are. We're gonna suffer from. One problem. So there's two quests, and basically every uh, every expansion. So there are two quests that basically affect things. They're the 15 point attribute, 15 point skill point quest. Like, in I four, I think they'll. I forget where they'll. when they are. Maybe around the time you're building the base? I can't remember. I know factions are. basically even before you leave the Shin Shin Monastery. You get one. He has a potion before you leave Shin Shin Monastery. Oh, Green Jay Island, I should say. Um, that's that 7 level I want. So I could raise my soul. could raise my soul reaping. Which isn't the worst idea. Because then that's how I can. Oh, never mind. That was 5 points. Oops. Oh, well. But we had no two levels before we get skill points to raise such so probably. seeds around this mu this rock. But here's where you go to get unnatural seeds. But yeah, the 15 attribute point, scale point, whatever, quest for prophecies is... <sighs> it's way later in the game. Like, it's crystal desert 
Selfer and Shiver Peaks. Like, yeah, it's delay enough in the game that it's. Just a bit tedious, which means we're not gonna have a full potential for a while. There's an old card. Just cause. Sword throw it both or something. That's fun. Stay so it's a bit jerky. Just a bit jerky. I was wanting to use the uh, round companion isn't really around to do damage. It's just there to be to exist. Mind you, that's pretty much its whole purpose is to exist. Because it proves as a distraction, body blocking, all that. Oh, and one thing I should have pointed out earlier is bows. So here's the thing. Guild Wars 2 has a long bow and short bow. Guild Wars 1 has a long bow, short bow, flat bow, horn bow, the curved bow. Like it has like five different types of bows. Y you don't need five types of bows. That's just silly. But for some reason they thought, yeah, we need a long bow, we need a short bow, we need a flat bow, we need a horn bow, we need, like, then there's different charts that explain how much damage and range things are capable of, and that benefits to bows each time, and all that. Like it's a bunch of complicated math. That you don't really need. Because for the most part, you could just be fine with a. I mean, a decent enough longbow and you're fine. Oh no, it's easy. Whatever shall we do? I was hoping you would also attack me before. There goes work attack. There goes work. There's gonna be more of those. Do do do. Oh, so yeah. We've already reached the se second carry object that makes you slow, Crest. Prophecies has quite a few of these. More so than any of the other. You know, how to make the game challenging with the player. Let's have a quest where they have to carry a heavy object. Okay. Then let's make it so enemies spawn while you have her carrying the heavy object.
Thank you so much. Just a kind to help me. I don't know why we're done. Thanks for having too much. No, oh, I can't even turn in the quest because she's trying to fill my inventory with stuff. Yay. Got two things. Herp. Yeah, see, here's another problem with the whole prophecies reward system. We're gonna give you all these items. Items take up inventory slots. It would be so much easier if they just gave you gold. And they realize that later on. Oh, quite a few people, you know. More than I was expecting. Well, we don't need spider legs, worn belts, scale fins, foe hammer. Oh, hell, we are over a thousand gold. Do, 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 do. So, Varus collects that. Meh, we don't need that. What we do need is that one down there. Peshaw. Oh, it's Lord Darren. Darren? Darren? What's this, a letter from the Duke? Oh, I see. You know, you know, Duke suggests that I'm not doing enough to serve an Ascalon. See what he says here? I trust you and your men being so far from the confidence of the wall have ample resources to hunt down this charm. For you and me, Baird and his fortune is so scared of war. How do you learn to regret being in such a poor detriment? In any case, his message has been received. You may consider yourself dismissed. Duke. Kiss me a decent shock. We may be able to reach level 8, but I doubt it. Well, if we go up to the north, we might be able to reach it. Also, right into it. Do, 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 do. Okay, and now to chunk this video again. Okay. So, now we have full inch uh, Crichton Gill, technically. Which gives us plus two armor to everything, except for a headpiece. Thing is about the headpiece, well, we're gonna need a lot more red iris flowers. Sadly, which we don't have. Anyway, I believe I want to do that one next. But there are a few things we're gonna do in, well, show off in Rangers Valley. Uh, you know, wait, 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 wait. Now that we have a profession, let's do this real quick. Just cause it's, cause it's been bothering me this entire time in the game. So go back in here, right? Okay, so, what we need to do is we need to go and change our skills. Resurrection signal can be over there. Alright, it's a comfort animal. Go Ugnant. A few gaze, that. But what else do we have? We can have a bone horror, which is meh. Practically everything we have costs 10, which is also meh. Okay, I want silver bars before faint horror, so I remember to cast that more. I uh, can we place blood renew with life size and bad yeah. But as you can see, none of these are really that great for us. Cause yeah, welcome to prophecy skill initial skills. They're not that great. Oh well it's better organized at least. More so what I'm going to have for later on. Oh, so I'm one of those people that never remembers to bring a resurrect of my own, so shrug. And then my monks die, and then no one can res, which is usually problematic. Well, I usually have necromancer rocks that re rebirth so they can. Res if need be. Alright, right. 
right, 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 right. Right. Trying to get used to uh, my skill points with the only three four instead of one two. Reverse scale, but we want to head right over the hill. Oh god, I'm sorry. Ascalon, it doesn't have death penalty. Death penalty, by the way, is one of the worst things about this game. So you die, you gain like 15 death penalty, which basically affects your health, energy, like you lose basically 15% of your health and energy, which is pretty terrible. To think about. It goes up to 50%. Which, as you can imagine, the pain. Trying to complete anything with 60% death penalty is hell. That's why most missions in this game are designed so if you fail, you fail. You don't get a chance to basically struggle. You just can't. You just basically fail and it's over. Not very forgiving is this game. You either work together with people around you or you potentially die horribly. The reason why I didn't sound like heroes too is because they, well, they got rid of entries and heroes. Then they expected the players to basically work with people around them. Like, for people who solo things, yeah, that's not exactly the idea. Because Welcome to basically having to work with people, or you have to really struggle and dodge and roll and get your combat roll that way and move all the way of this and became a lot more movement based and all that sort of bullshit. Which, coming from Guild Wars 1, was weird. Like, see. In fact, I have to stand here and move. I can't just... Like, I can't just, you know, I can't move and cast spells. I have to. But yet, if you move, you can dodge spells, like, see? You can dodge. But yet, you can't cast anything or attack while moving. So, it's like... The default strat... Thing was to learn to basically just stand there and cast spells and hope to survive. Like it's a complete 1A in Guild Wars 2 where it's like, oh, well we need you the player to be able to be able to move and dodge and do all this. Oh, so there's a reason why we came over here. Herp. To this back hill. I didn't know this existed really until they added the traveler. But yeah, that was this secret alley back hill. With Nicholas Sanford and Professor Yakington. So, yeah, I can just finish your pockets, but the nut is his head underneath your hand for a pet. So here's the thing, if you bring a 50 frickin' flowers, you could get a small equipment pack. Which isn't terrible for, you know, 
this. Also, a ragged scar pattern, which isn't terrible either for if you're going to stay here in pre Ascalon. But anyway, do you think you can locate oh, five red iris flowers for me? Oh, he's collecting red iris flowers. So here's the thing. He's collecting red iris flowers, but yet you also need red iris flowers for that. Yay yeah, for... Also, this changes, I think, weekly? Or maybe it's daily for him. Weekly for the traveler, so... Do I have five red... Yeah, here's five red iris flowers. Oh, so I forgot to read his text. Oh, well. But hey, we're going to give it to Huntsman. Which gave us 500 hours. Yeah. Which is, eh, whatever. Speaking of Hunter's hours, though, it's actually ideal for what I'm going to do real quick. Or maybe not real quick. What I'm going to do before we leave Regent Valley. Also, that Warhammer is not terrible, honestly. For a starring Warhammer? That's a pretty good Warhammer. My identification kit's running a little bit low. They have a 50 red iris flowers. You'd have to actually work on finding those. Because, I mean, they're all practically everywhere. But 50 of them is a bit much. But it's mostly for, like, characters that are going to stay here in pre Ascalon. Mostly for them. Yeah, it looks like he could work into the head thing, but yeah, don't really count enough to do that. Especially when we're going to replace our okay, as soon as we get to Ascalon City, anyway, or post Ascalon City. Also, I want to point out, well, we'll point it out later, but post Ascalon City is an example of how the armor system they made a mistake with things for post Ascalon City. It's basically they put an armor... They basically put an armor merchant there, or armor crafter, armor or whatever, there that shouldn't really be though, in my opinion. Because the natural progression says you shouldn't be able to buy armor that's that good that early in the game. But yeah, we'll get into that later on. Once we get to post Ascalon, which is still going to be enough for two, three videos. I know, we spent, we're going to spend quite a while and pre Ascalon. Which isn't really a bad thing. I mean, enjoy it while you can. Pre Ascalon is pretty great. It has to be still my favorite area. In all of Guild Wars. All of Guild Wars. Like, it's why my Guild Hall is set to the pre Ascalon. I used to have, uh, you know, uh, what was it, the lava one, fire aisle one, because, you know, I like the whole concept of lava hot tubs, but there's just one section you could go and spend time in the lava, and use it as a hot tub. But that's always when I was a lot younger and thought that was a cool idea. Ooh, lava hot tub, that's so cool. Nowadays, I mostly just use the pre Ascalon one because I like pre Ascalon. So, why not have white one? It looks nice. Looks nice and simple, it has a bit of still houses around stuff. Not terrible. Good old. Guild halls are always used for guild versus guild stuff and all that. But I just like it for the simplicity. 
a bit heavy place that you can go to in the island. Even though we're like the only We're like the only people in the guild anymore. For reasons. Reasons of stage, of course. If people committed trees and then we had to have them removed. Always fun. Then the game is basically, you know. not dead, but it's in a state where it's not really populated enough for it to sustain our guild. It's the only real major guilds left anymore, mostly, mostly just L-G-I-T. That's pretty much the only real guild that controls the majority of things in the world. If they have like... One, two, maybe three guilds, several hundred members. Which I never was a fan of guilds with several hundred members because that's a lot of people. And why would you want to deal with that many people? So anyway, welcome to these guys. Heck. Hi. Is it time? No. I have a round of blood, sweat, and tears. Blood. Sweat. Seven. Eight. Tears. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Blood. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sweat. Seventeen. Eighteen. Tears. I'm not sure they know how to count properly, but okay. Ten. I think you screwed up. Ah, heck, another challenger. The companions are the greatest hunters this land has ever known. Vinton, or that once go to bear faster than you drink a shot. Yep, he's good. Ah, yes, I'm better, of course. I think a new friend here is a great hunter. You can kill bear and return to us within three minutes. We'll show a drink with you. So, by the way, this here is not terrible. Except for the later parts of it. Because the first two rounds of sample, I mean, you just go over here and there's two bears right now. Make sure you only kill one of them, though. Or, by the way, you can technically tame a black bear in pre one. It's hard as shit because they have a skill which interrupts your charm, but it is possible. I've done it before. I require it having to have help for it to interrupt their ability. But yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. I did bear another three minutes. Drink. Drink. I was hoping for another challenge. But apparently they want me to drink. Well fine, we'll drink. We will drink. Oh god. String your bows. Bears be well. Will video manifest her goes. Has uh So this is the intoxicated effects. Ooh, it's spinning. Ah, uh, heck, another challenger. Don't stop traveling. Pants are the greatest hundreds of the I've ever known. Pants are not so without trying to bail faster than I could drink a shot. Like a new friend here is a great hunter. If you... If you could kill bail... Under three minutes. So basically, hey, remember that one bear we left alive? I love you, man. The basically intoxicated effects in this are basically just the screen going oh, And you say random things. And sometimes you do emo. Sometimes. Oh, 
Uh oh, something. Oh, it's a bell pelt. Oh well, yeah, I almost forgot about a bell pelt. Which is probably we had to go to to get a bell pelt, but we could get one hell. Cause they've been. My inventory is not full. Sucks. So anyway, now we go back and to the center. I'm king of the world. So I'm Pope Benton. I think he might be dead. Nah. Boop. Why isn't that something? A dead bear in only three minutes. Drink. I drink. I did drink. Everyone just left shower. So here's another one of those unnatural seed vendors. They're not gonna say the thing again. Nah, I think I'm gonna be sick. So yeah. Now we'll just work our way of back this way. To reach uh, that over there, hopefully. Hopefully we can go this way. The pre Escalon has a lot of that kind of country that you don't have to go through. Mind you, you don't have to go through it. But it exists, so you should go through it. Actually, you know, real quick, I'm just going to do this again. Boop. Just cause. I think you're safe. Sadly, it isn't like uh, World of Warcraft's intoxication will as becomes as age. This is always fun typing like that. That it's always fun typing that in World of Warcraft after the battlefield and see how many SHs it hurts. We could technically ratify that by just eating a cupcake. But I don't know. Oh, it's my mind's getting no more cupcakes. Because the anniversary celebration ended today. Sad. So yeah, by the way, that's also uh that also dates this video when this been has been recorded. Compared to when this is getting uploaded. Ooh, boost out value. Oh god, more growl shaman. Get yeah, just a bit tired of fighting growl shaman. Already. Just say coming through and group the seed is a day long attack. And then they take damage and then two help me jump around. And oh god, they're all attacking me. And then they heal. Well, nope, I don't think we're going to survive. Just has the massive amount of numbers. On the outside. First mile outside. Sure took the cupcake. Sure to ate the cupcake. Where is it going to put me? Okay. I am over here. Okay, I think that's not... Not the worst placement. Not the worst placement. We just need to head down this way and south. Yeah, not the worst. I mean, we were what over there. So we were about ha almost there. This way is a lot less crowded by Grawl. Yeah, that's just the wind's starting to pick up again. 
makes me nervous. Also, wait, should my pet have respawned now? Wait, why did I? Why wasn't he alive? Questioning it. Your animal companion is taking damage. No, my animal companion is apparently dead. Don't know what your complaint Thank you again. Ooh, red iris flower. Sometimes it would take me a while to realize that my animal companion has yeah, died. Yeah, I would love to use comfort animal to bring him back. My problem is I don't know what was he dead back there? I was paying attention. Or did he die over there and didn't respond with me? I don't know. Oh, so hi, Moss Spider. Please stop. Please stop whatever you're doing. Jeez, looks busy, does it? Surprisingly, it looks busy. Anyway, now I need to sell things. Well, things are going fine here, can't we? So anyway, in the next episode, we'll see if that person's still setting off the house. And we're probably going to go poke up north. Just a bit. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all, and have a nice day.